Greetings to everyone. We want to look at how you use Fermat's principle to derive Snell's law. So we are considering light moving from one medium to another medium. So this is medium 1, this is medium 2. Medium 1 has index 1 and the medium 2 has index 2. The speed of light in medium 1 is V1 and the speed of light in medium 2 is V2. Remember that time is equal to distance over speed. It's equal to distance out of out of speed. So let us look at the time from A to B. Total time from A to B. Total time from A to B T will equal distance O O X which is actually A squared plus X squared power half divided by the speed which is V1 here plus plus distance this one this is xb this is xb which xb is b squared plus d minus x squared power half from Pythagoras from Pythagora theorem over v2 so we shall have let us try to get dt dx dt dx this time around will be it will be a half drop the power and differentiate negative a half times 2x over v1 plus drop the power also which is a half differentiate so we are differentiating the power so we shall have this power negative a half times there is a negative d minus x d minus x out of v2 out of v V2. Uh -huh. So this will go with this, and I expect this to go with the. There is a 2 here. To go with this 2 here. So we shall have that t. From Fermat's principle, the t x is equal to 0 for minimum, for minimum time. We are looking at the path taken by the minimum, the path, the path taken by the minimum time, the part that takes the minimum time, which is actually from Fermat's principle. So we shall have, we shall have a squared plus x squared power negative a half, negative a half dot x out of v1 uh -huh, minus minus 2 d minus x times b squared plus d minus x squared power negative half over v2 over v2 equaling to zero because we have set this we have set this to zero but from the diagram we know this and we know this here so this one here but x out of a squared plus x squared power half is equal to sine theta i and also b squared plus d minus x power, power negative a half or I can say d minus x out of b squared plus d minus x squared power half is equal to sine theta r let us substitute here we shall have we shall have we shall have sine theta i out of v1 minus sine theta r out of v2 is equal to zero uh -huh. but in fact if index is equal to c over v hope we know this one so implying that v1 if i look at it, v1 is equal to is equal to c over n1 and v2 is equal to c over n over n2 are we together so now having known this and this get and put them here so we shall have if we substitute for v1 and for v2 shall have n1 
sin theta i is equal to n2 sin theta r, which is actually what we call Snell's law. Snell's law. Although for you cram that it is n1 sin i equaling to n2 sin r. This is, always, this is an angle which is actually this. Even this angle here is this. Thank you for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.